Hey guys, looking today at a brand new piece of kit from Valhalla Tactical. It's called their Rook. It is touted as being the world's first adjustable RDS mount, red dot sight mount. It's also super modular with different little towers here that can adjust your optic height. Uh, a lot of cool little features. So we're gonna go through those today. We're gonna explore the modularity and the adjustability of this neat little piece of kit. I'll just, uh, you know, we'll do the whole proof clear thing real swift. Okay, so essentially the way this, the idea behind this thing here is its ability to pivot. So I've gone ahead and loosened off these two Allen key screws a little bit here, um, but basically you can pivot this mount. It's not fixed like everything else typically is on the market. Instead, it makes use of this, this central cylinder and the, the tower is allowed to pivot around that. So you can tuck it up right, you can, you can set it at a perfect 45 if you want to, or you can tuck it right into uh, your 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 eye box of whatever primary optic you're using. So I think that's actually a really cool system and uh, definitely unique on the marketplace today. So let's pop this off now and we'll go through it in greater detail. All right guys, the quick and dirty, if you're only gonna watch much this video for another minute or so here. So we've got this optic. It's adjustable for pitch. I'll talk more about that in a second. It's adjustable for height via these different optics height towers. This one is an absolute co-witness, whereas this tower is set up for a 1.93 height. Then you can get into the bases themselves. Again, those are all swappable as well. And they have a multitude of bases for different popular RDS red dot sights. Uh, and then also, in addition to swapping up the sights, you can change the position. You can rotate them 180 degrees, and then that way, this whole setup is, is good for a right-handed shooter and a left-handed shooter, and is all user configurable. Uh, one of the cool aspect of these, these setups, um, this is true of basically any red dot mount that, that mounts to a 12 o'clock position rail, is you can have it set up at the rear by the eye box or at the front near the objective. Personally, I mean, I like mine towards the rear if I usually in lieu of running a rear flip up sight. Uh, and that's just because if I, my eye is used to focusing right in here, it's not much of a switch to get it to focus here. Again, RDS have unlimited eye relief, so it's not really a big deal. You can run it up here as well. Um, it's gonna come down to rail space. And um, honestly, this is an efficient place to locate it as well because nothing else is typically back there. Anyways, just another cool feature about RDS offset mounts in general. Let's look at this thing in a little bit more detail now in the different aspects I just covered. Okay, so taking a closer look at it here, guys. Basically, these two Allen bolts, uh, they're what lock everything together. So there's your two-piece uh, clamp that attached to the pick rail. It's got integrated locking lugs, two of them which I like to see. That's, uh, that's good there. And then as you're tightening those down, that also causes, that draws the central cylinder here into this inside contact surface that's contoured around the cylinder. And that's going to lock in your angle while simultaneously, obviously, clamping to the pick rail on the receiver, or the 1913 rail. So you've got quite a bit of, of room for travel here. Obviously, you don't experience the full range of pivoting because you know you're, you're backing into your optic and it's somewhat restricted. But this thing can basically run at a be run at a full 90, and it can basically pivot down out to about I'm guessing 150. Looks like about a full 60 degrees of travel. And uh, and then but there's multiple pieces here, so we're going to go through the different pieces. You get your base, you got your central cylinder. You've got your optics tower, your height tower that sets your height. Again, we've got one here that's for an absolute co-witness. This one is set up for 1.93. And then you've got your base plate. So again, those are all swappable. So you can start investing in, in a platform that allows you to use this with Aimpoint Acro, Aimpoint T1s. We've got the Trigicon RMR here, Holosun. They've got more uh, base plates on the way. And that's gonna lead us to this dial here, which is actually not a dial, but rather, an access hatch. Basically, it's a battery. It's a cap that allows you to get into the battery compartment of your RDS. So the idea behind that is it saves you having to remove your RDS to change the battery if and when that battery eventually dies. RMRs aren't really big power sucks, so probably not gonna have to do it often, but uh, but nonetheless, that's kind of handy. Uh, obviously, you know, if, if you're worried about re-zeroing your RD RMR when you're when you're switching this out, it gives you an option to avoid that. However, when this is on here, depending on your the tower that you're using, it's going to be tricky getting that out. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's going to be tricky. So it could be half a dozen to one or six of the other, whatever it is to you. For me, I know that I find I'm swapping this 
mount with armor intact between rifles more often than I'm just taking the RD or the armor off in favor of a different RDS. So for me, it is a handier way to change those batteries. Not that I've had to. I've had this RMR for, I don't know, maybe a year now, and it's still going strong. Uh, these things are super low battery consumption, so they're going to, they're not, it's not going to be a thing you're going to need to do very often. Um, so if on that side, I can see some guys saying like, well, why, why go through that added expense? Because obviously this, there's additional machining required to mill this out, put in these threads, make this separate component, uh, and get this all fitting really nicely. Um, so there, there is some of that. You could argue that, that, uh, that, that is a thing. And perhaps, you know, they'll look at providing armor base plates without this as a less expensive option, right? Because if you're, if you're investing in a, in a battery cap on every single base plate and you want to have multiple base plates, maybe that adds up. Um, another comment might be weight savings, because if, if you're going to the expense of making this all out of titanium in the first place, why add an unnecessary extra weight by means of a battery cap? And there, I'm going to be a little bit more in favor of the battery cap, because you're milling all this out anyways. Um, you're not. You're more so just replacing the material that was milled out. I don't think you're getting a whole lot, a lot of extra space. Again, this is hollowed out inside. So even though this has a, a larger profile, I don't think you're really adding much in the way of weight. So for in terms of efficiencies, there, I think that's that's probably fine. And that's just going to be a trade-off, more so expense-wise, if you want that quick access or if you just want to have to pop off your your RDS anyways. So not a big deal. Just uh, something I thought I would mention and comment on. Uh, otherwise, these towers, these towers are super cool. Um, I'm not sure if they could have done that lightning cut in there. That might have just to, to see through. I'm not sure. That might have been might have been a little bit cool. Uh, I'm not sure if the titanium could could handle, but that would be another lightning cut that they could potentially explore. They have milled that out already on both sides. But uh, let's pop this apart and uh, explore the way these things interact a little bit more detail. So pop out this Allen screw all the way. Long, long Allen uh, screws there. Okay, now we can see this thing start to come apart. So there's your two-piece mount for locking around the pick rail, or the 1913 rail. Here in that center is your, um, your center cylinder, which is in there, snug. There is some wizardry, some machining wizardry that goes into making this part all work. Really cool. And uh, that interacts with that drum. So if you're gonna swap out towers, you're just swapping out these components, right? So there you got your cylinder inside your tower. Here is your clamp. And uh, that's, it's as easy as that for swapping out the height. I shouldn't say as easy as that. You also have to pop off um, your RMR. So let's do that next. And that's that. So now you got these four screws in there. So all you have to do is undo those four. You can flip this switch around and then reinstall it on the other side of the gun if you want to set it up for left hand use. That is also a really cool feature with this mount. Or again, you swap this off, swap it for a different base plate, or swap it to a different tower height. Again, the modularity of the system is really impressive. And uh, really thinking outside the box for, for this industry, where you're typically you're going to have just a solid mount at a fixed angle, and, and that's kind of your that's what you do. So this uh, definitely, it's more expensive to get into, but when you start adding more pieces and, and customizing it, you can really get a very flexible system that's set up for essentially all the major RDS red dot sites out there. So my final thoughts on this thing, honestly, it's it's not a cheap way to get into the RDS mount game, but uh, it's it's one of the coolest and most flexible, easily the most flexible. With that said, in my opinion, this is one of the most thought out RDS mount systems out there and definitely the most flexible, most modular, uh, and most innovative and honestly the machining spec. I'm I'm very impressed the fit and finish on these things is top-notch uh, This this is these guys first foray Valhalla Tacticals first foray into the RDS mount game their background has been with weapon mounted light mounts and This was this was a bold move um, They've got some other really cool stuff out as well. They've got a neat little uh, a piece that clips into the ring or that, that acts and replaces one of the rings on an ADM or aero precision mount like mount such as like such as this and it literally it literally takes the RDS mounting in game and flips it on its side and that is an intentional pun but go check out their Instagram because they've they've been posting about the prototype and they have a cool little diagram that explains exactly how it works 
And it kind of blew my mind when I saw that. So uh, I'll leave that for you guys to go and explore. And uh, definitely these guys are worth, worth watching. They're, they're a pretty new company and they're, they're shaking up some stuff. They're making some really cool advancements to what has been a pretty fixed and static uh, side of the industry type of accessories. So lots to see from those guys. I'm sure lots more to come. And uh, I'll be grabbing a few more accessories from them to the channel here and explore in greater detail. So, And to those of you guys that are still here, thank you so much for your support of the channel. Please like, subscribe, share, do all the things. They really they really definitely help this out. I'm so pumped to be crossing over 50,000 subscribers real soon. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. I didn't think it would happen this fast. This channel, again, is like eight months old, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And if you guys want to contribute to this channel, help it grow, um, help me out with some more range stuff. I've got some really cool range updates coming along the way that I'll, I'll drop in my, my next vlog video here, which will probably be tomorrow. And uh, if you want to help me out with that thing, Patreon is the best way. And as an added perk, I make myself available to those Patreon viewers or Patreon supporters. Um, on Sundays, if you guys want to talk shop or throw a question my way, I'm happy to uh, jump in there and answer it for you. So uh, again, Patreon, I'm on there, Arm and Gun. Definitely appreciate your support. Thanks a ton for all you guys have done already. And even if you're just going to view, all the power to you. I really appreciate that. Thanks for being here. And uh, Arm and Gun, out.